This video is brought to you by Deco Network. Deco Network software is designed for the apparel decoration industry to keep staff and equipment running smoothly. Learn more at deconetwork.com. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Kayla K. Shields. I am a junior marketing associate at Deco Network. With us is MakeATeaOnline.com owner, Meryl Caitlin, and guest, Roberto Rentiriero. Meryl has been a trailblazer in the apparel decoration affiliate store market for years now, attributing MakeATeaOnline.com with standing the test of time to their ability to understand what customers want and perform well beyond expectations with reliable and trustworthy products and services that they provide. Without further ado, Ms. Meryl Caitlin. Thank you, Kay, and welcome everybody. I'm so excited to be able to share our information and what we've been doing with Deco Network and how we have been using the affiliate stores to our advantage. And hopefully you will also be able to implement some of the things that we do as well. And um, so let me let me start. Um, thank you, Roberto, for being here. Roberto and I have been working together on our Make a Tea Online website for many years now, since I think 2012, 13, oh. when we first when we first started um, with the online store, and we've gone through big growth together and a lot of changes, as you know, as we all have, and that's why the motto "There's still time to change the road you're on." I didn't write that, but we took that as our motto, and especially using for the affiliate stores. Um, when we reach out to people for affiliate stores, we reach out to them as another source of income for them, as something to be able to share their brand, their designs, their artwork, and we're trying to be in their shoes when we are reaching out to them and getting these stores on. And of course, it helps us with our sales and our marketing and our ability to also stay in business. So let's talk about the first thing here. We have, um, I did this little presentation here and I hope that it's helpful to you all. And the first aspect is why would you add affiliate stores? So for most of us, we, we have our company, we have our business and our business is, is we do a lot of direct to garment, so, but other people do screen printing. I know that some people have specific niches with their stores. They, they may do laser engraving or they do embroidery. Um, whatever it is, whatever your decoration method is that you use Deco Network for, that's really what you focus your business on. That's what you focus your business on to grow your business. And um, that's what you're an expert in. So, so those are the type of businesses that that's really how you should you should also target your affiliates what you do well at and then be able to bring on other people as your affiliates and do that specifically for them as opposed to just starting to do something else is crazy just focus on how you built your business but now you want to bring it in you want to grow your business and um it is you know it's sometimes it gets to be daunting because in our industry Everybody says, oh, you know, you got the competition, you got the guy down the street, you got the guy around the corner, um, and you got the guy online. And, and how do you compete with that? And it's really hard when you've been in business for a long time to then branch out and say, you know what, hey, I have to make a change. But then you get these other people that are just starting their business, and that's really all they know. And I, I see that a lot. I see younger people who were starting in the industry and you know that's all they know is online sales it's like second nature to them they don't even give it a second thought so so there's two different types of people there's the ones who have their business and then the ones who are just starting their business and i'm sure that that everybody up, who are listening to this right now we have a good mixture of both of those type of people and i even wrote in here that um you know there's still people that you know, they do their invoicing and they take their orders on a, on a pad and paper and, and or a napkin or whatever. And, and if you're still doing that and you're here today, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad you're here. We're glad to, we're glad to have everybody here. So when we first opened up Make a Tea Online, 
I had these big gigantic dreams that we want to be like Cafe Press and Zazzle and be able to do all of those, you know, all of those things for everybody and and have the great, you know, the great website and all that. And then I had a like a knock in the head when I started doing the research and I realized that the people that own those stores are techie people. They're not the graphic designers, are not typesetters, are not artists. They were huge tech people with a lot of tech money and startup money, which I didn't even know what that word was when I started Make a Tea Online. So we kind of had to um, create our own and come up with other ideas and and to be able to push ourselves to to grow, to grow the business. And my um, my little cartoon here of myself with my ideas, it's not it's not just a cartoon that's 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 me like every day i have other ideas on how to grow and how to make us different how to make us unique and that's where we started to really kind of push the way the affiliate stores were an opportunity that deco allowed us to have which was phenomenal for me because i thought we have other sales people we have other ability to make sales that that we didn't have before. So, okay, so the first step in our in our growth with our affiliate stores was not to give the store to just anybody. Not to, I took that add a store button off Make a Tea Online. We, in the beginning, we thought, oh, this is great. People are gonna add stores and they're gonna do all of these things and they're gonna sell, but no, it didn't work because if you get something for nothing, you treat it like nothing. Well, this is important. These bis this business is important to me. I know your business is important to you. So we need to be we need to be kind of like a little bit picky about who we are giving our affiliate stores to. We want to make them really understand that they have an opportunity here, and and we can offer them that opportunity that. They can't get if they go on to um, to another another arena, or maybe they don't even know how to print. So so they just have ideas. So we're we're really offering them a huge opportunity to make extra money, and of, of course, then we make money as well. So when we realized that we had to stop competing against the cafe presses and the custom inks that was that's hard for me to still to still swallow <laughs> but they but and I do call them the google gods and and every day they change things around and every month they change things around and one minute you're you're up and the other minute you're down and and I just I couldn't deal with all of that roller coaster in the in my business so so we thought about another way to expand the business using the affiliate stores. We thought of another big way that still we couldn't quite do because we're not that we're not funded like that. We're 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 the everyday mom and pop on the you know we're we're just the, really the mom and pop. So so we decided to start something called the Artist Alley with our with our stores. We had something going in the neighborhood that was a, a t-shirt contest that we brought to the community. This was one of my marketing ideas. And we, we did this about eight years ago. COVID kind of halted us this past year and the year before that we, we still did the contest, but we, had, we couldn't have the final, the final fashion show. And, um, but what it did was it made me see that there are so many artists and these were young artists. They were in um, middle school. They were actually phenomenal artists and we built a store for them and we had a fashion show and we had awards. We had made a whole big deal out of it. And the kids kept coming back year after year and the parents were coming in and they were on our mailing list and they were, they were in our database and we were just building this up with this one this one store, this one idea, and I thought this is this is great. We actually even put this on Facebook, had the voting on Facebook, and we had like five thousand people voting on this contest for the kids. And it was just hitting me that 
this affiliate is the way to grow the business. We just have to get the right affiliates. Parents will buy something with their kids' artwork on it. Let's reach out to the artists and let's give them an opportunity to put their artwork on t-shirts. Some artists, they sell their paintings for a couple thousand dollars and their artwork is really great, and, but not everybody can afford a couple thousand dollars and they can buy it on a t-shirt for $20, $30 and they have a piece of artwork. So the way that we promoted it to the artist was that we would be able to take care of their customers. We would be able to help them with marketing. We would be able to take really good care of their artwork, make sure that the colors were good. We, just a little extra effort. They could put in a thank you note. So when they get something, they, uh, they get a little love note. We would match the packaging to the, you know, to their theme if they wanted us to. We, we really kind of like went out of our way to coddle the artists and to show them that we, we really care about your art and let's get the art, your art out to the masses. And they love that idea. They truly, truly love that idea. Where's my next slide here? So, so we started adding, we put something on our website, which was called the Artist Alley. So here, so let me show you, let me show everybody our website. I don't know, Kay, are there any questions anybody has at this point that I can answer? Not at the moment, but there's still time to submit some. If you have any questions, please feel free. So go ahead and drop them into the chat and we will address them. Okay, okay. So so here is our website, Make a Tea Online. And under our affiliates, this is our artist alley that we started to shop the artist alley. And we don't, there's some artists that we don't have um, on the site just because they maybe their art is a little too rough or something, or they don't really want us to do that. And so, but these are our main artists that we, that we have on the website. And I'm going to show you, um, this is, this is Kelly Merker's art and we create this store for her. She actually even has a link. We're able to put a link on this to her paintings, which she loved. Um, and she has sold so many different items that she never thought that she would, <laughs> that she would be able to sell. And, and so, here, so we kept her colors, which are pink. See, here's a link to her site. Then we also have return to make a tea online down at the bottom, which also gives us a little more of a push that her customers can go on here. And so anyway, I'm just showing you this. This is one of them. And I do know that it goes off our site. That's why we have make a tea, you know, to return to make a tea online. And um, yeah, so this is kind of like our artist alley. Here's our I have this, uh, this is stuck behind the thing here. This is our newest one. And he, they don't live in the area, but these are people that we reach out to. And this is a young man who has a disability and art is his therapy. And he is absolutely thrilled that we're able to promote him and that people can buy his artwork. And it is, you know, doing something like that for somebody that, that, is, is homebound and can't get out there. Um, this is just heartwarming for me. So we take it even a little bit further and to where we truly care about, we truly care about our customers and, and what they're doing. And we become kind of like um, helping them with marketing and, and very involved in, in their lives. And this is, this is just, something else where we're giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. So yeah, one, one of the things that I think is worth mentioning is a little bit of the journey, right? So most of the first affiliates, when we first launched the ability to people to have affiliate stores, they, we opened it up to everybody. And yes, we had about a hundred, you know, different affiliate stores that were signed up, but because like what Mara was saying, if they're not, vested to it and they don't work on it, nothing is really going to happen with the affiliate stores. So now in this last version of the affiliate store effort, it would be more 
on partnering with them. And the first affiliates that actually came about were uh, current customers, right? That were actually printing t-shirts. We were printing t-shirts for them. And in conversations and phone calls, we told them, why don't you have a, your own store? And so that's how it came about because they were artists and they were already selling their, their t-shirts. And through this opportunity, now they were able to have their own store and send that link to people so that they can have a place where they could see all their wire work, you know? And obviously the other way is also through the schools because that's another huge, huge opportunity that actually Mero and Make It Online has actually leveraged because of the years of experience that she's been having printing custom articles and just within the printing industry that there's a lot of connections and, and um, partnerships that actually grew from that, right. you know? Right, and then plus, plus the, when we went with the artist also, we tried to choose artists that had a, that had a following already. That is, that is really, really helpful for them because they, they have their, their mailing list, they have their following with, with social media, with, with TikTok, with, with Instagram. People who, are, who have a following are the best people to reach out to. It may be hard to find, but once you start to, you start with one type of group, that's why we started with the artists and then artists know other people. And then we started with brands and then we took off once we added brands to our list of affiliates. So, so one of the reasons that we, um, that we took off was because our brands, we started targeting the, the CrossFit gyms, the workout people, the people that we were able to help with, with events that they had. And I'm, I'm thinking backwards, how many people have events in your community and do those people have an opportunity to start a campaign? You know, you can actually add a campaign link to affiliate stores, mm -hmm. which is what we did with our CrossFit Vice, which many of you saw on the Deco Network Facebook page that we were able to raise $7,000 for CrossFit Vice, which is one of the stores that we have as our affiliate store under our brands. And when their friends and, and associates, business associates saw that, they came to us and said, can we have a store also? We like this, we like this idea. So, so sometimes people like having merchandise in their locations. They like to maybe, maybe go out to pop-ups or to farmer's markets or to have them in their gyms or in their schools. And they like to have inventory, which is perfectly fine. So happy to, to print large runs for everybody, which we still put that through Make a Tea Online, which you guys will can still obviously put that through your back end. But, but for them to be able to offer specific things, because customers are picky, they, you know, you guys know somebody wants a tank top, somebody wants a, you know, a dry fit, and to be able to offer them that opportunity and target the affiliates and tell them, you know, these people are marketing your business, they're marketing your brand, they're marketing your your artwork, they're letting other people see it. They don't all, the, they don't always realize the power of apparel. They don't always realize the power the power the power of a t-shirt or the power of of having a, a coffee mug on your desk all the time. They don't realize that. They need you to tell them how powerful that is. How you know anybody can I always say this anybody can wear a t-shirt. It can be fancy, it could be it could be casual, it could be for anything. So any and any any size, <laughs> any age, anybody can wear a t-shirt. Of course, I know a lot of you don't just do T-shirts, but but that's really the point. That's really the point where we are, where we were we were trying to get with promoting our affiliates. But choosing the affiliates is key to your success in adding affiliates. The reason you're here on this call today is you want to know how to utilize the 
the affiliate stores to your best advantage. The key again is you need to be picky about who you're bringing on as an affiliate and understand that you are offering them a huge opportunity to make sales and to grow. Yeah. Okay. So and we have another, um, we have a question here for you and I want to thank everyone for submitting their questions. Um, feel free to keep sub submitting your questions throughout the webinar. We will address the rest at the end, but I do have one for you now. Evan asks, how much custom design work have you had done on this layout, on the layout and navigation of your store, if any? So again, okay. Evan asks, how much custom design work have you had done on the layout and navigation of your store, if any? Okay, okay. Hi, Evan. Thank you for that question. Um, I'm actually a graphic designer, and um, and I have the people that work for me are are we're all kind, we're all graphic designers, and so we we kind of did it ourselves. I did have Deco, a Deco expert. Help us with the site a couple was it a couple of years ago a couple of years, yeah, ago. years ago and um, this was before before Deco went to the mobile friendly the new the new website um, design ability and the rest of so but so that was the old one and then on this one we did it we did it ourselves we did all the graphics we played with it so I guess we did it <laughs> so the answer would be me. Um, one of my other graphic designers who works for me, Roberto, um, my daughter Stephanie, we all have our input into it and and the design is all is all us. And even for our affiliate stores, if you if you look at um, if you go through and you look at all of our affiliate stores, we designed all of that ourselves as well. And I think they're all pretty good. They all look pretty good. I mean, you know, uh -huh. we're always we're always tweaking. We're always tweaking, we're always adding and changing. But I think to answer more specifically, we always base the website on a template that they provided. And then obviously the graphics, which just follows the same size and we did our own design, but the structure itself should be the same as, as take on network templates. Yeah, if there's, okay. there's no custom HTML in it, right? No. There's none. It's all, no it's all HTML. with, it's all with what Deco mm -hmm. provides us. Yes. Yeah. We, we, you know, we, we pushed it a little bit, but. Course. Um, we've added blogs onto a couple other stores as pages. So anyway, yeah, I hope that answers your question, Evan. Thank you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to, okay. Should I continue? Yeah. Feel free to keep going with okay. your presentation. Okay. Okay. So, um, let me go to this next page here. Um, we decided, Roberto and I decided, um, January. And we kind of, we had talked about this for a while, but we just figured we are just going to do it. So, so when 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 we all had to go through COVID, um, it was a really great opportunity for me to take a month and really kind of push back and say, and get out the idea to people who were struggling in our community. Let's let's have a store. You should have a store because it you got to make some money now, and we need you know we need to make some more money also and let's let's push us out here and let's do this so so in january we decided to just start this apparel masterminds class couldn't believe that i was able to get that url <laughs> i couldn't believe it was available grabbed it and we just plunked ourselves down on the second saturday in january and if you go to our YouTube channel, it's really raw. You'll hear a lot of the echoing for a little bit, but but it's really, really raw, but it comes from our heart. Um, I talk about marketing. Roberto gives huge amounts of information about SEO. I mean, like I can't even believe the stuff that he gives out for free to everybody with SEO. And we when we invited our affiliates to come on, and let's all band together as a group, as a community. Let's all help each other. Nice. We have some affiliates that are plugging on social media like crazy. One of them is a nonprofit, Make Our School Safe. And she is plugging, she plugs like crazy and she's gotten national attention. You'll see in this next video that we actually have um, the actors from the TV show SWAT wearing her 
make our school safe shirts. And we've done campaigns for her. And we, we her store actually has is a great store to take a look at. Make our school safe. She's the only one under our under our nonprofit section. And that's a that's a great store to look at. We were able to put a video of a coffee mug on there. It was it's really it's really really cool. So so we we started this apparel masterminds class. It's the second Saturday of the month. I will invite you all at the end, and uh, Kay will give you the link, and I'll be able to send it to everybody to join in. Where we give more information to our stores, how to design. We go from how to designing in the front end. And we go through everything on the back end that they're able to do themselves because we want people to we want people to understand what we're doing. So this is how we completely have grown our affiliates. And this is hugely important. We go above and beyond for our affiliates because we are able to do so. So number one, I look at my affiliates as my partners. I truly do. These people are just as important to me as as I am to them. And and they are they are my partners. Your affiliates are your partners because they're selling your product. Okay. I treat them with respect as I would any other business person. Like if I'm going into a restaurant, I'm going to be nice to the restaurant owner. <laughs> so so my affiliates, they are they're they're very important to me. I don't look at them like like, you know, oh, they're a hassle or they're a problem when they ask a question. And the reason is because they are not in the apparel printing business. They're not in the fulfillment business. You are, I am. And that's how they, they need us to be able to make their, to make and ship and, 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 you know, and create their brand for them, help them create their brand for them. Next thing is I have to understand what they're selling, what their message is, and how much their store means to them. And every single one of our affiliates that you see on our Make It To Online page, they have a story, they have a message, they have a reason why they've done what they're doing. It's just like you opened up your business for a reason, they're opening up their business for a reason. This is a business for them and be selective on who you bring on if you have to make a checklist if you have to make uh you know a form for them to fill out can they do this can they do this can they do this they need to pass that test for you to take your time and your energy and your effort to to bring them on the other thing is i offer them a discount on their own stuff so that they can market and I look at that as marketing dollars. If I'm going to spend $300 a month on a on a newspaper ad, I look at that money that that they're it's I'm not making on a couple shirts or or a couple mugs or stickers or whatever because that is my marketing dollars. And then um, also try to help them come up with with different events and different ways that they can sell their stuff if you can do that if not go look on my web stores and you'll see take take some of my ideas i take ideas from other big companies that market roberto knows that i'm always telling him hey go look at this website go look at that website see what they're doing go look did you see that tv ad that target did isn't that great we need to do something like that so 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 i'm you know i'm you know share with everybody this is what i do Make our, with Make Our School Safe, our affiliate store, we've done three campaigns this year alone for them. Uh, last year, we started doing campaigns for them as well. So we do a campaign, put that onto her web store. And then afterwards, I take that product and I put it on her store and we call it, we call it an event shirt or an event mm -hmm. item. So, so other people can get it as well. They can get it afterwards. And she never even thought about doing these virtual events. We even did a virtual race. We did a virtual bike run. We did a virtual, everybody go out at sunset. And on one day, in, it was in, in April. And, and people just, they loved it. People loved it. It gives a sense of community and it gives a sense of you, that you care about this 
this store and you you will become their go-to person which is mm -hmm. really really important for them and it's important for you it it locks in a relationship locks in a relationship Roberta. one of the things that i want to mention which is important for everybody here is that as as we grow our affiliate stores and we're getting more of them we we notice that we are getting two types of categories right which would be two different specific niche and and that's actually what's making us very successful on what we do because we're getting the same type of affiliate stores now obviously i don't know what type of stores you guys have and what type of stores what what niches are you in but one of the things that i would definitely recommend is Get involved on, on your industry, right? Let's say you do um, custom items for, uh, I don't know, for pets, right? Dogs, cats, whatever. So if you go and, and look for groups on, on Facebook, you look for other, like, um, say, people who are influencers, right? You can actually reach out to them and offer them, hey, I can, I can make you a store. You can, you can offer your brand through my store, right? Because you're in the same niche and you have the products that they would actually offer to their to their audience. So now you're pitching them, you're getting them involved into your affiliate store that nobody else is doing. Because believe me, a custom ink or a, another big store would never actually reach out to them. Right? So if you're a very niche specific store, you can go out, reach out, do a reach out campaign. You just need to look out in, in YouTube all the influencers that are within your niche and start chatting with them. Mm -hmm. You know, right. sometimes right. it's as easy as, as the message on a video, you know, because they don't know anything about you and, and you know everything about their brand. If, and you, if you are able to help them, you know, they're going to actually answer. Right. If you actually what Roberto said was right. And if you are going to do something like that, like let's say that you have an idea of what he's talking about, like like pets or whatever, you can actually build that affiliate story yourself first. Mm -hmm. And then you would find somebody that would want to take that over. So we have a That's couple, amazing. yeah, we have a, a, like a bunch of domains. Actually, we have a lot of domains that we own that we, um, that we have in the background to offer people for a store. So that is another great way you build it. And then you have something to actually show them. And let's say you have a, let's say you have a pet shop in your neighborhood and that you want to build a pet store. And then you say, Hey, you know what? I have this. Would you like to market this and I will help you market it? So that's another great way. I yeah. didn't write that down on here, but that's a, that's a great way. Um, and, and, the, and, and the moment you have the first one, now you send that on the link saying, do you want something like this for your brand? Right. So now it's, there's no friction because they already know what they can get from mm -hmm. you. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So the other thing that we also do is we offer our affiliates custom labeling. Um, we, we have little cards that we make that have the washing instructions. And then on the other side, it has a little coupon code. And so they're going to keep it because they've got the washing instructions instead of throwing it out right away. They may keep it for a little while. And then your name is in front of them they, or not your name. The affiliate store name is in front of the people. They, they have, they have something. We provide custom color packaging. So our envelopes that we send out stuff in is teal like our color that we that we have and so we have red ones we have pink ones we have black ones and we put labels on them um, we really try to customize our affiliate product when when their when their customer receives it and one thing that um well that roberto and i learned in many of our marketing courses that we've taken is that when the customer gets something it's such a great opportunity to have something else in that box. So it's the customer retention <laughs> that is hugely important. Yes. That customer is going to come back and buy something else again. So we, so we, we really try to have do a little bit extra for our affiliates as well as besides our class that we do for them. And it's a free class. We also offer them, social media posts will create a post sometimes those posts are things that you can actually have on the website as artwork and that's a great thing for them to to post we do direct mail e-blast we brainstorm with them we really do whatever we can to help promote them and make them feel 
just as part of our business as we are with their business. So um, what we expect from our affiliates, this is, we expect a lot from them. We expect our affiliates to market. We're really kind of firm with them about it. Yeah, everything is nice and pretty and we do all this and we do all that, but we tell them if they don't make sales, you know, <laughs> then they're not gonna, we're not gonna work on their store. We're not gonna work on it if they don't work on it. They need to, they need to show up to the plate. They need to, it needs to be important to them. They need to invest their time and their energy in marketing their stores or we are, you know, we're not going to care. So, so in the beginning, probably like a lot of you that have Deco, and we're opening up stores for any, 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 you know, anybody anywhere that wanted to, because you would think that that's a really great way to build your business. Like I said in the beginning, as soon as I took off that, you know, create your own store, that was, you know, that was the start of it. We really want people to be just as invested as we are. And that was really our huge, our huge growth. So anyway, um, I'm at the kind of at the end of what I was going to say. Roberto, do you want to? Well, uh, goes both ways, right? For the affiliate and, and for the fulfillment center in this case, Maron Mega Team, because you need to. You need to educate them. And this is one of the reasons why we started the Power MasterCard class as a way to, to help them grow their business, uh, to run tutorials into the things that we were trying and to be very specific. And, and that allows us to also know a lot about them because now we know them very intimately and we know what they need, right? And we see how we can help them. So it's, it's, it's a, a constant communication. Um, like I said, as we grow in, in the affiliate market or creating more affiliate stores, um, we see more common needs that we have better solutions for and we're able to help them, right? Um, the same way that if you are going, going to incorporate affiliate stores into your store, you know, obviously I recommend going after one niche because that's what you're good at, that's what you know about, that's exactly what your products are for. And you can get a lot of influencers and brands that can actually would like to sell that through you, right? So, and it takes a lot from you because promoting and, and marketing, you know, it takes a village. So the more people you have, there's always a saying, who motivates the motivator, right? Who motivates the business owner and it's all other business owners and it's other uh, business partners and the affiliates are just that. They're your business partner. So they're motivating their brands, they're motivating your, you know, they're promoting your your products, which is a win-win for everybody. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, mention something else. A lot of our customers, and I'm sure your customers as well, as I said a little bit earlier, they may have inventory of product that they have in their locations if they're you know, if they're whatever, gym, store, pet store, whatever, whoever they are, a school, they have inventory. And sometimes you get hit with, um, you know, a, a, a stumbling block. Like, well, I went into a gym actually a couple of days ago to drop off some stuff. And they said, well, we buy our stuff from our cousin who has a sister who sews these great bags and whatever. And I immediately came up with an idea for them. I said, but none of these have, let's say, slogans on it. And, and something that we could do print on demand and right now everybody has a message and everybody has a voice and everybody wants to be heard and so there's so just because somebody has something already it doesn't mean that they can have something else as well and you can fill a need that they don't have currently doesn't mean you're taking away from what they're already doing you're adding to what they have and keep that in keep that in mind you have deco network you have something that they don't have at this point mm -hmm. and so you have another opportunity there yeah so in that note actually 
I can emphasize how, how easy it is to make an affiliate to store in the Can network. That hands down is one of the best solutions that we've seen. And one of the reasons why we do it so quickly, easy and cost effective, because it just makes sense. Yeah. And it really allows us to grow the affiliate stores. Right, right. I, I invite everybody who is listening today to, to join us. Our um, Peril Masterminds is gonna be this Saturday 11 to 1 Eastern time. It's a very casual, um, very casual group where we're all, we all talk, we all share. Um, I think everybody learns from it. I hope everybody learns from it because they keep coming back. And I, I am, you know, you'll, you will meet other people. I'm going to let everybody kind of give a, um, you know, a minute or two about, you know, who they are and what they are so that we know a little bit more about each other. And so we'll be able to send out a link, but if you want to sign up for it, you can go to um, my Make a Tea Online website, there's a sign up, or I'm going to be posting the Zoom link on our Facebook page, and I'll be able to send that out to everybody. So I, I truly welcome everybody um, to join us And on Saturday. Roberto and I will be, we'll be there with our coffee at 11 o'clock Eastern time. We're in Florida. so. <laughs> So, so thank you. Kay, are there any questions for us? Yes. Yes, we do have a couple of questions here. First, I want to answer AJ's question, which he was asking, will there be a recording? Yes, there will be. There is a recording happening now, um, and then we will be posting this as well, so you all can all go back and watch it over again. Um, so now we have another question from Chris. Chris asked, does the Apparel Masterminds course have a cost? He also asked, how would he sign up for an affiliate class? Okay, so no, we don't charge for our Apparel Masterminds class. Um, so there is no cost. So, um, and then you could sign up by going to Make a Tea Online. I have a registration on there. Or you can also find it on our Make a Tea Online Facebook page. Um, the Make It Tea Online logo, I don't know if you can see this, looks like this. It's a circle teal with a with a T inside. So when you see that, um, I'm gonna have I'll post the I will actually post the Zoom link and um, you'll be able to find us. You'll be able to find us. Perfect. Okay, Merrill, and if you could just give us your contact information just one more time. Okay, so, so yeah. okay, so you can contact me at Merrill, M-E-R-Y-L, at makeateaonline.com, that's T with two E's. You can find us on Facebook, Make a Tea Online on Facebook and on Instagram. Facebook is the best way to message us. And um, yeah, and our phone number at our office is 954-753-7287. That is our office number. So you can find me there. And I'm also on the Deco Network Users Group Facebook page as well. Yes, perfect. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in and joining us and we'll talk to you and see you next time. Bye. Thank Take you. Care. Thank you everybody. Thank you Deco Network. Thank you.